Yeah, what's up everybody? Welcome to another tutorial with Benjamin Fieler's graphic recording. Today we're gonna start digital because I'm about to release a digital online class or an online class on digital graphic recording sketch noting. And additionally to the online class, I want to provide you with some little tips and tricks also from the digital world that you can also use when you're doing the online class. But of course they also work when you're not uh, part of the online class. So those are going to be small little side tricks that just make your a digital illustration, graph recording, sketch noting, whatever you do with it, just a bit more nicer. And today we start with digital drop shadows done on the tablet. Drop shadow? What is a drop shadow? I show you. So here I have a little drawing where I integrated a drop shadow and a drop shadow is a shadow that you can see here. It looks like as if the sun is coming or light is coming from this direction and going through your um, headlines in this case and just uh, making uh, throwing a shadow, dropping a shadow on, on some surface which is in the back, you see. So this is called the drop shadow. There are cast shadows and drop shadows and this is a drop shadow. You can also look it up in this internet <laughs> um, to get more examples on a drop shadow, but I mean here it's quite obvious how it looks like. And this is a cool um, way how you can make a, a nice headline on your graphic recording sketch no noting, for instance, by using a drop shadow to make it clear this is the headline and this is a bit nice looking. And how you do this on the tablet, I'm going to show you now. So let's start with a little um, headline, a little drawing that you've done that I've done here. And of course, when you work digitally on an, on a drawing uh, tablet, <laughs> when in a drawing app, you usually they are all kind of the same. You have like on the one hand you have markers, you can manipulate the picture, and uh, you have colors, and you mostly work in layers. So you work in like you have a background, and you have another layer, another layer, another layer, another layer, and all the layers are st stacked on top of each other. And this layer effect we're going to use to make a nice drop shadow. So looking into the software, I have now one layer right here. So there's one layer right here, and um, there's the background, this is white, and then I have one layer here. And what I'm going to do now is that I'm just going to first duplicate the layer. So I double the layer, I duplicate it, and now I have two times the same layer here. And um, I can make the layer visible and invisible, and that's what I'm going to do now. So I make the top layer invisible, and then I make the bottom layer invisible. And now you don't see anything. And what I'm going to do now is that I take the bottom layer, this one and I take the software and I start to reduce the opacity. So I take the opacity and I put the opacity down to about, let's say about 20, 20, then I can show you the effect better. So now I reduce the opacity of the bottom layer. It's fine. And uh, let's look at the whole picture again. And when I now make the top layer visible again, it looks like before, but now I take the bottom layer, the one which is underneath. So it's this one right here. And I'm going, going to use the transformation tool in, in the app, which is up here. In this case, I use the app Autodesk Sketchbook. It's a free app uh, that works on all devices, no matter if you are on Android, or if you have Windows or a Mac. It works on all tablets. It's quite nice about it. And um, so I use the transformation tool and now I move the bottom layer and I move it first down, you see, and then a bit to the side and I move it around until I have a nice composition where I think, okay, this looks really cool. Here my, my drop shadow is working. I can, of course, uh, go to the top, go everywhere. Um, but I like to have it on the bottom left side like this. Then I leave it like this and um, the next thing I'm, what I'm going to do is that I put the two layers together so that I merge the layers down to one. So I merge the top layer into the bottom layer. It's also done um, in the app. So I merge the layers together. That's what I've done now. And when I take now the whole picture, I have my, um, my headline here with the drop shadow on one layer and that's cool because I now can also move it around. Move, for instance, to the top center and confirm it. And there I have a nice, good looking headline, which I can use then in my 
graphic recording sketch noting and um, it has a nice effect and I can also move it around if I want to have it in another position like for instance in the middle somewhere but um, the view uh, the it's, it has really has a nice view it looks a bit artist artistic and a bit tricky and it's that's cool and that's one of the advantages when you work digitally that a drop shadow is done really really fast and that's it already for today. A digital drop shadow done on a tablet using a classical um, drawing software, in this case Autodesk Sketchbook. And um, of course you can also use, use the same um, function <laughs> on other drawing apps. But uh, the trick is always the same. Work with the layers. Take one layer, double it. Take the layer underneath, reduce the opacity, move the bottom layer a bit to the side and then you're there. Then you have done your drop shadow. And it's a really nice effect. So try it out and share it on your social media and um, also um, tag me maybe at Benjamin Felis. And if you liked the video, give it a like here in the bottom. Comment on what you want to see next. And I hope you have a great week and see you next time. Take care and goodbye.